Although the Catholic Church was still extremely powerful during the 14th century, many great writers and thinkers believed in a more human-centered world than the one that the Middle Ages had recognized. This humanism was a new effort to remain faithful to the Christian God while also recognizing human contributions. The love of art blossomed with humanism and a new interest in classical cultures such as ancient Greece and Rome flourished. Madonna enthroned, tempera on panel, 10 feet 8 inches by 6 feet 8 inches, Giotto di Bondone, 1310. Florence, Italy, was home to many humanist writers, thinkers, and artists. One of the favorite young painters was Giotto di Bondone, called Giotto by most. The Madonna enthroned was a commission for the Church of the Onisanti in Florence. It most likely sat on an altar or in a side chapel and was surrounded by candles, beckoning the faithful to kneel before it and pray. Giotto shows the Virgin seated on a Gothic-style throne. Note the pointed arches. She holds the baby Jesus in her lap and is surrounded by holy figures. Madonna was a traditional Byzantine Catholic theme, but Giotto rendered the features of the Madonna, her hands, her face, her manner of holding the Christ child in a fresh and realistic manner. Because of the style shown in the Madonna enthroned, some scholars have called him the father of Western pictorial art. Notice the faces of the angels and the other holy people towards the back of the throne. Each face has unique features, including specific hairstyles and beards. Even the angels, while similar, have individual characteristics. Perhaps Giotto used local models to capture individual characteristics for every person's face. By observing the real qualities and characteristics of the world around him, Giotto was the first to break with Byzantine traditions and develop an approach that would later define Renaissance artwork. Roger van der Weyden was a Netherlandish artist, someone who came from either Bruges or Ghent, both small medieval cities in Belgium. During the Renaissance, this area was referred to as Flanders, and the artists from there were considered Flemish. Portrait of a Lady, Oil on Panel, Roger van der Weyden, 1460. Roger van der Weyden was commissioned to paint many religious diptychs and triptychs, portable two- and three-panel pieces that can fold shut. He was also well known for his portraits of people from noble families. So some paintings, such as Portrait of a Lady, were secular. They involved secular subjects or non-religious subject matter. Much like Giotto's Madonna and Throne painted over 100 years before him, van der Weyden's painting style shows extreme naturalism. Notice the woman's folded hands and carefully manicured fingernails. Her facial features and tucked back hair are intricately rendered. Note van der Weyden's skilled technique rendering the sheer cloth that covers her hair and forehead, an illusion more easily created with the recent invention of oil paint. The delicate treatment of light and shadow indicate that van der Weyden spent a significant amount of time observing and painting from life. This new tradition may be traced back to Giotto. Portrait of a Lady differs from Giotto's Madonna enthroned in many ways. First, this is a portrait in which the subject is seated very close to the front of the picture plane. Notice that there is no background, only blackness behind the lady's head. Her clothes are also dark and without pattern. The extreme contrast of light and darkness, called chiaroscuro, makes her face the primary focal point. She is rendered in extraordinary detail. She gazes away, looking down from us, the viewer, and appears to be deep in thought. Second, Giotto's Madonna was painted on a wood panel, but with tempera paint, a paint that was hand-mixed from pigment and water, with egg yolk used to bind it together. Van der Weyden used oil paint for Portrait of a Lady. 
Oils were a relatively new medium in the Renaissance. Each color was hand-mixed by the artist by blending various pigments, linseed oil, and mineral spirits. Oil paint was more luminous and could be painted in translucent layers. Third, the portrait of a lady is a secular painting whose subject has been carefully observed and very naturally rendered. Giotto's Madonna Enthroned depicts the Virgin holding the Christ child in the midground while surrounded by adoring humans and angels. Van der Weyden's portrait of a lady instead brings the subject closer into the foreground of the picture plane. We see every detail, and we confront her with much more intimacy than Giotto's subject of the Virgin. Both paintings show us that Renaissance artists were painting with a keen sense of detail and sought to render their subjects in a natural style.